Damien Parsons, I'm a realtor in beautiful Victoria, BC. Today we're going to be interviewing a great local business, one of the best coffee shops in Victoria, Cafe Fantastico at one of their three locations here on King Street. We're going to go inside the roastery, they're going to tell us a little bit about how they make their coffee. Come on inside, let's check it out. We're in the roastery section, we think it would be really informative to show you guys how they make their coffee here. Gareth is the general manager. He's gonna walk us through some of the steps, how they get their beans, and how they make their coffee. Why don't you start with a little bit about uh, where you folks get your beans? Yeah, so we have uh, many producers around the world. Uh, longest standing relationship to date would be uh, Mexican coffees. And we have two different coffees from Mexico. Today we're actually, uh, most recently, introduced our coffee from Peru. Finca Tasta from Peru, this is a wash coffee, and so as we're receiving this, this is gonna be as a green coffee. So as a green beans, our coffee is much denser, much more stable. This is our Loring Smart Roast. This is an upgrade in our roasting technology. After here, we're gonna be loaded into, uh, we have a scale over here, and from there, it gets vacuumed all the way up into the top. And you can see right behind here, we've got kind of the brain of the roaster. It really helps us track our baselines in all of our coffees. Once that is then out of the roaster, coffees then like to have a gas off period in order to release some of the CO2. It really allows the flavors to settle and to melt, so we recommend a prime window of freshness that you really get to enjoy your coffee uh, between kind of day four and day 18. Oh, okay. Gareth, that was really, really interesting. I recommend for anybody who's looking for uh, an unbelievable cup of coffee, check out one of the three locations at Cafe Fantastico in Victoria, and we look forward to seeing you guys real soon.